So Hi guys, I just want to make a quick video for you to talk a little bit about how to use the exercise ball here to do some um, quick mobility things that are pretty simple for our pelvis, low back, mid back, uh, and also demonstrate a couple concepts for you about spinal neutrality and why that's important for efficient movement uh, and movement that doesn't really put us at risk for injury. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is kind of that stuff. Uh, what we're going to think about is our spine as being a big, long, springy string that can kind of go into a few different places. And we want to be able to find the place where it's in its most efficient position, which is pretty well straight up and down from the top. Uh, so that's ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, everything in a nice straight line, pelvis in alignment as well. Uh, this is a good position to maintain, and then we need to learn how to challenge it by doing some sort of mobility things and learning how to use our hips to move, our shoulders to move, that way that we kind of spare our spine from a lot of the stress that we get when we move around uh, from day to day basis when we're sitting and we slump into different postures and things like that and start putting a lot of compression on joints and stuff in our spine that's not good for us. Uh, so that's a pretty simple concept that's going to kind of bleed into the rest of the things that I show you today. So I want to make sure that you're able to get into this nice good position here like this. Uh, a good way to do it is to be able to squeeze your pelvis or squeeze your glutes so that it aligns your pelvis and then we're standing straight up from there trying to maintain a little bit of abdominal contraction maybe about 10 percent or so that allows us to kind of lock our chest into position here like this because if we can maintain our ab contraction here just a little bit there's really no way to slouch in order for me to slouch i kind of have to let that go and then i can kind of collapse on top of myself so we're going to get in a good position here like this to start every one of these movements uh, lock it in a little bit, but just enough compression to where I can still breathe and talk and do everything fine just like that. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, is kind of pelvic tilts. Uh, we can just go back to the side for that one. Uh, what we basically want to do is be able to sort of hollow out our back and then curve it but under control. So I don't want you to just kind of default into these positions. I want you to be able to control it. So we start from where we're good, and then what we want to do is be able to rock back and then go forward without creating a lot of movement in the ball here. So this sort of thing is not correct. What we want to do is pin ourselves down and be able to extend and flex the spine, but under control here where we're not really moving the ball too much. So doing a couple of reps of these, uh, until it feels nice and loose is a good place to start. Uh, the next thing that we can do is work on lateral bending here, which can be a little bit difficult. People's tendency is to want to just slide from side to side, and we're not doing that. Basically what I'm trying to do is push my sit bones on either side kind of down into the ball back and forth. If you're having any trouble, most of the time people will find that they have difficulty doing this on one side versus the other. When they stick their arms out, they'll be kind of wobbling one way or the other. Uh, what you're gonna end up having to do is pull the arm up on the side that you're having trouble with, and then just squeeze that glute down into the ball, and it should give you a little bit of extra feedback there. So work here in this position like this until you feel like you've got a good handle on it, and then just go back to just work in those things side to side, okay? The next one they're gonna work on is uh, shifting of the pelvis back and forth. So this is a rotational sort of thing. Again, we wanna make sure we're in our good position and then we're just gonna start by pulling one leg back, pushing the other one forward. It will feel kind of awkward at first, but basically what we're just trying to do is twist the spine here back and forth while it's in a good neutral position. Same sort of thing, just keep working that back and forth until it feels nice and loose. And then the last thing that we're gonna do for the low body is uh, some core activation things where it's ball bouncing. So we're not gonna be jumping up and down here like this. What we're going to be doing is creating a slight contraction in the glutes and letting it go. And every time after I let it go, I get a little bit of a bounce out of it. So once you've got that down, the next thing to do is go arms up overhead, reach real, real tall, and that'll let us kind of get this core engaged a little bit. And we're just gonna squeeze off and on here, like this, for about 30 seconds. And you'll do three or four sets of these guys here just to get everything kind of moving. And then once all that's activated, we're going to learn how to start using our hips as a hinge uh, by doing some holding exercises here. What I like to do, arms up overhead here like this, 
making sure that I'm not collapsing down here towards my knees, that I'm not overextending while I'm going forward, but I'm keeping a nice, good, solid, neutral spine like we've talked about, and then we're just hinging from the hips. You should feel all of the effort coming from right here. So we're gonna bend forward, we'll hold that there for about 10 seconds, come back up. Three or four reps of that, you should be good to go for all this control stuff down here in the bottom. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you is some really quick mobility stuff for our upper spine, which is really easy to do. You can check and see what your rotation is like, very simply, by putting your arms across your chest here and trying to turn to the side, turn to the other side. This point at which my arms cross should make it to about 60 to 90 degrees. If it's not making it that far, you can work a little bit on some thoracic rotation mobility simply from this position here. What we're gonna try and do is just reach out over the front of the knee, keeping the head in a solid position here like this. It looks a little sassy, but it's fun to work out here. So you can just go back and forth over and over until that starts to feel like it's loosening up. And then once you've done that for a little while, everything's feeling nice and even, go ahead and check yourself again. And if there wasn't enough mobility there, go back and check out the video that I did about uh, thoracic mobility with the peanut, and that should give you some good points there. So that about wraps it up for some pretty simple things that you can do with the exercise ball here. These things are also great to kind of swap in for a desk chair from time to time, just to make sure that we are kind of actively sitting throughout the day. But you want to make sure you're switching between that normal chair and standing if you can throughout the day too. Uh, so if you ever have any questions, again, always feel free to contact me here at the clinic, and we'll see you next time. Take care.